Hello everyone, welcome to your 26th C++ Cube game tutorial. I just realized that part of the game video was blocked in the previous tutorial, so let me just show you guys what we ended at the end of the previous tutorial. So when we click play, we generate this GUI, and we have this text, and this text, and this text. So here, now, um, the purpose of this tutorial will be to draw the cards here, and draw the cards here. Now, when I use the term card, I simply mean a hex that the player can place on the field or on the board. Um, but I call it a, hex, a card when it's here and a hex when it's here. That's just to clarify my terminology. So let's go ahead and generate a bunch of cards. And uh, as let's go ahead and uh, look at our plan sheet to see how we're going to do this. Now, recall that we're going to give the game class two methods, player one cards and player two cards. The, this list will hold the cards that each player has. And we're going to have another method called create new card that will create a new card for the specific player and add it to the specific or uh, the respective um, list. And then we're going to use the draw cards, which will traverse through this list and actually draw them. So let's go ahead and start implementing this. We'll start by the game class and we're going to give it. Uh, so we'll give it an attribute, Q list of uh, hex objects. There are one cards, Q list of hex, player two cards. Okay. And also we want a few member functions here. So let's go ahead and start with um, create initial cards. So these are private methods and these are private attributes okay we want a uh, create new card Sh should we start implementing here with create new card um yeah so we create new card this will take a queue string describing uh, for which player you want to create the new card so let's go ahead and look at the implementation all right. Um, now this is basically going to create a hex object and then add it to the proper list. Remember, we have two lists. One list keeps track of player one's cards, and the other list keeps track of player two's card. So this member function will create a hex and then it will add it to the respective um, list, and then it will call another member function called draw cards to draw it. But it doesn't do the drawing itself. So we're going to create a new hex. We'll call it card new hex. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna set the owner, which will take a Q string. Well, let's give the card a set owner method, so we'll, or the hex. So the hex should have a set owner. Owner that will take a Q string. So who's going to own it? Add definition. Simply going to change owner. Let's see. Owner. It's going to change this to whatever player. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so we want to set owner. Uh, we want to set it to whatever player we passed in. And uh, now we want to add it to the proper list. So here we're going to check uh, which, what the value of this player is. So if you wanted to add the card to player one, so if player is equal to uh, Q string um, player one, or it's If that's the case, then add it to player one. Player one card dot append this card. And now we'll do else if. So else we're just gonna assume that you're adding it to player two. So we'll do player two cards um, dot append. Card. Okay. So add the card to the proper list. That's what we did there. 
And here we create the card. So we created the card and then added to the proper list. And now we want to call this function that we haven't made yet, but I will make it. So draw the cards. And that is simply done by calling a function called draw cards, which I have not defined yet, but I will. So this create new card, when we create a new card for any player, uh, we're going to add it to the list that key, uh, to the respective list. And then we're going to call the draw cards method, which will traverse both the player one's cards list and player two's cards list and draw them onto the screen. Um, okay, so now let's uh, make another member function for the game class that will create all the initial cards. This just creates one. So now we want to create a bunch of cards for both players. So we're going to create initial cards. This doesn't take anything. OK, so let's see what we want to do. So create player one's cards first. And the plan here is to basically do a loop that uh, generates five cards. So we'll do for size t i equals 0. Uh, we're going to call the create new card. This will create the actual card and add it to the list. And we want it to be for player one. Okay. And we're going to do a similar thing for player two. Okay. So player two's cards. And it'll simply change that. Okay. And then we want to basically call draw cards. Because after we create all the initial cards, we want to call this draw cards member function. Okay, so let's just go ahead and actually define this draw cards method. So we're going to go inside the game class. First of all, declare it. So draw cards. And now let's go ahead and add definition. And basically, we want to traverse through list of cards and place them onto the screen or, and draw them, rather. Alrighty. So before we want to do this, we uh, we just want to clean up uh, because we, we're going to constantly call this draw cards method whenever we add a new card. We want to get rid of all the old cards and then draw the new cards. So basically, we want to traverse through and first of all, um, if any of the cards in the cards list is already on the scene, we want to delete them. So uh, we'll do a, a, a loop. Equals player one cards dot size. Okay. Uh, we basically want to remove item, and we want to uh, remove remove this item from the scene. So this basically we remove all of of player one's cards from the scene. That's what we did here, and then we want to do a similar thing for player two. Remove remove all of player two's cards from the scene so we just replace all the ones with twos okay and now we can actually draw them so draw player one's cards now it may seem a little weird that we're removing them and then drawing them but uh, this is so that it, uh, we don't leave those cards already on the scene and then we draw a new one it'll make sense uh, because we're not really drawing, we're just removing and adding to the scene. So let's do a loop. So however many cards the player one has, i is less than n. OK. Um, we basically want to create a hex we're gonna call a card and we will temporarily so we're gonna 
we're basically going to take a pointer to the ith card of player one, and then we're going to set the position of it uh, to be basically for player one, we want it to be a, a little bit to the right, so 13 on the x, and then we want it to be um, 25 pixels down, and then 85 pixel times i which means that if it's the zeroth, it will be at 25 pixels. If it's the oneth, it'll be 85 pixels lower. If it's the twoth, it'll be 85 pixels even lower, and so on. And then we want to add it. Okay, and uh, we're going to do a similar thing for player two. So draw player two's cards, or we'll traverse through player two's cards and then uh, let's make sure we replace all these and then for player two uh, remember again um, we're going to place it at 874 plus 13 so it's still 13 pixels and uh, so we'll do the same y the rules apply and then add item this card and that's it so this will traverse through a list of cards and draws them uh, let's go ahead and see if uh, now this works. So if we go into the game class and then we do start before uh, after we draw the GUI, let's create initial cards and then uh, so create initial cards will create them and add them and then draw them. So let's run it and see if it works. Okay, we have a few bugs size. Oh size I know it's called size T. Okay, that was an easy fix. Unsigned int, what? Unsigned int, no variable declared before for size t. For size t, oh, um, i equals zero, forgot. These are just silly mistakes. Okay, there we go. So we'll click play. And here you are, the hexes for player one and the hexes for player two. Uh, that's it for the second tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.